pass by your house at the end of our street Lined with some white and gold things seems Making the memory right under my feet with you The taste of your name on my tongue is so sweet The sound of you calling me
Christ, I prize and amen. So we are here today to celebrate as we watch Elizabeth and Roberto join hands in marriage. We're here to laugh with them. Some of you are here to cry with me. But most of all, we're here to wish them well and wish them and offer our support as they begin their new life together. So the wedding stand ceremony symbolizes the act of two individuals coming together and becoming one family. Elizabeth and Berto, before each of you is a container of sand, which represents you, all that you've been, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. Today, you are combining all of you and all of your uniquenesses into the final vessel. And just as these grains can no longer be separated into individual containers, so shall your lives forever be intertwined. Elizabeth and Berto, we all stand here with you today and hold you up in happiness. But in a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, maybe even a couple years, real life is gonna happen. It's gonna creep back in. You're gonna need each other to face those challenges. You're gonna need each other as partners, as equals, fiercely honest with each other, fiercely committed to one another. You have to be both honest and committed because real love demands both and a successful marriage demands a foundation of real love. I want you to, I want to urge you to hold on to that vision. I want you to love one another as you move forward, nurturing one another as your united tree. Now it's time to declare yourselves to one another. So Elizabeth and Berto have decided to pass the rings at this time, if you will. They're gonna to pass to some of their immediate family members, having each of those people in their lives, bless the wedding rings and maybe put their positive thoughts towards their marriage. So do you, Elizabeth, do you, Roberto, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and not so good times, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh. Do you, Roberto, take Elizabeth to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and the not so good times, the richer the poorer, keeping yourself under her as long as you both shall live? See. Sí. <laughs> Elizabeth, please place the ring on Roberto's finger and repeat after me. Roberto, I, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my promise. As a symbol of my promise. With the pledge to love you today. With the pledge to love you today. Tomorrow. tomorrow always. Always and forever. Roberto, please place the ring on Elizabeth's finger and repeat after me. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my promise. As a symbol of my promise. With the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always. Always. And forever. And forever. <laughs> Having proclaimed love and commitment to one another in the sight of all these witnesses and myself, I'm happy to pronounce you by the power invested in me by the state of Kansas, husband and wife. Roberto, you may now kiss your breath. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. to review. i 
magic that we discovered and we see it now you're the feeling in my soul every sunrise turns to gold you're the reason i will never be alone every moment that we spend like a symphony begins this is fair morning I absolutely hate public speaking. <laughs> so this might get rough, so bear with me. Um, all right. So Lizzie, Drew, and her, which is her younger sister and I, grew up and we did everything together. Liz and I got the luxury to play on the same softball team when we were older. Some say luxury and others would say a hot fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> the people who would say luxury were just me and Lizzie because we had so much fun together. Looking back now, I feel bad for our softball coach. Liz and I were always doing something we shouldn't be doing. For instance, one practice when we were standing in the dugout, waiting for our coach to tell us what to do. Well, Liz and I started to kick on each other. Started punching, started fighting, started kicking. Well, our coach decided to send us to separate dugouts. While he was scolding me for our actions, Liz was in the other dugout, pole dancing. <laughs> laughing, so he turned around to see what was going on. So, of course, naturally, I started pole dancing. <laughs> Another memory that stands out to me is when we would get in trouble for cussing our practice. Let's just say me and Liz were in a lot of foul pools because of our mouths. One tournament, Liz and I just got done from cussing, and we got back and coached that it was time to get our bats out to hit. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, when Liz pulled her out, hers out, she dropped a few more cuss words because she realized her bat was crap. And softball bats ran at least two hundred dollars. So Liz spent the next few minutes running, while of course I made fun of her and warmed up. <laughs> to this day, Liz and I still don't watch our mouse, but we have learned when it is okay to use it and when it's not okay. Sometimes. There are so many reasons to love Lizzie. She is smart, generous, kind, and funny. But you only see these things if you're on her good side. <laughs> <laughs> Something Liz definitely needed was someone who would not allow her to spend her money on dumb, silly things. Like hats for her cats. They're not dumb. <laughs> they need the hats. Betsy was definitely not afraid to do that, which has allowed Lizzie to spend her money on better things. Like hats for her dogs. Yeah, the dogs need him too. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, Liz is an amazing human being, and I'm so glad that Beto and my career was such a blessing. Now on to Beto. Man, where should I start? Well, I know, my first impression. Well, I was pretty upset because my partner of crime was spending all of her free time rather with me rather than him. Or with him rather than me. Beto and I got over, or, but I got over that quickly once we all three started to hang out. Betha would take Lizzie and I for dinner, and then we would go cause some trouble around town. Well, Betha introduced me to rolling down the windows when passing random people, and he would yell, grab his dick and twist it. <laughs> and he would yell, of course I would say, oh my god. I didn't do that, it was... But the best part was he would only roll down Lizzie's window so she would get so embarrassed. Betcher, no, Bethel never made me feel like the third wheel because deep down he knew he was the third wheel. <laughs> Seeing someone take care of Lizzie the way she deserved to be treated is amazing to see. I could tell from the first time we all hung out he was going to be around forever. Not only does Bethel treat her well, but he joins them when the family likes to give Lizzie a hard time. Him giving Lizzie a hard time definitely showed he would fit right in with our family. So I want to wish you both well and I'm honored to be standing up here with you today. I cannot wait to see where this adventure called life takes you. Last thing I wanted to tell you was how both spectacular you guys look. I don't think I've ever seen a better looking couple except for my boyfriend and I. <laughs> So, now, but here's to the happy couple. I don't have a drink, but toast it. Salud! Hello, guys. I'm Borre, or Juan, whatever you want to call me. I'm Beto's younger brother. Can you guys hear me? Okay. 
Like I said, I'm Beto's younger brother. This is my first time, so I'm nervous. Um, well, first and foremost, congrats to my brother and to my new sister-in-law. Give them a hand. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know if I should congratulate you or pray for you, Lizzie. <laughs> All right, now, back to the emotional part. Beto, you and I have been through so much together. You mean a lot to me. You know that I can always count on you, and you can always count on me for everything, except for money. <laughs> JK, I'm glad to be here on your special day, and it's an honor to be your best man. I never pictured myself in this moment ever since the first day I met you. You literally beat up this kid who was trying to fight me at the park, and you kicked this. Oh. Sorry, there's kids. <laughs> um, you and I, we went through good. Um, we went through it together. You know, we started as friends until your dad and my mom got married. You know. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> the point is, you've been having my back since day one. I appreciate you for everything you have done for me. I love you, bro. I'm glad you are happy and found the love of your life. Lizzie, you won the lottery with this one. But Beto, so did you. Congratulations. I just want to thank you guys all again for coming. We're going to clear the dance floor so we can start having some of our dances. Thank you guys. Say